we have a, a big gap, I think, not only as a region, um, probably as a state and a country in providing access to primary care. Being involved with alternative care delivery models is really being in the incubator of everything that's wrong with healthcare, really shows up in the ED. So I think, you know, when you're down there and you're working, you're seeing why people are there. Uh, everyone is perceived as abusing the system by being in the ED, but we really don't give them any other options or alternatives. Definitely, we need to look at it uh, outside the lens of just the old traditional wait your turn, uh, wait all day, spend a day, when you know yourself going in that this is gonna be a 15, 30 second encounter, I know what I need, um, and you just need some reassurance that maybe you're going down that right track and we wanna provide that solution for you. There's so many different opportunities with virtual care and different types of technology and wearable devices and, and really the list goes on forever and there's just so many ways that we could prevent inappropriate hospital visits, inappropriate admissions um, by basic simple technology that other industries have been using for years. It's, it's a ex super exciting time because I think we put the patient in the center right now and really are looking at them and asking them what they want. Uh, when they want it. And we have found that they do want uh, this type of access. They want availability more than anything. They want a great outcome and they want it at a reasonable cost. And they want the cost to be transparent. And that's what we're doing with virtual care and everything we're trying to provide right now.